International Journal of Health Policy and Management Quality and speed are our culture and the keys to our success. Welcome to the audio summary section of the International Journal of Health Policy and Management. Hello everyone, my name is Monica. I'm a researcher at the Institute of Tropical Medicine and at the University of Antwerp in Belgium. In this video, I will summarize our research article published in the International Journal of Health Policy and Management titled Integration or Fragmentation of Healthcare, Examining Policies and Politics in a Belgium Case Study. This research is part of an EU-funded Horizon 2020 project named SCUBI. Uh, which generated evidence on the scale-up of integrated care. But first, a bit more about our study context. Belgium is a federal country with a multi-level governance system. We have one federal and five federated governments, so a total of six governments. This is what the multi-level governance structure of Belgium looks like. Now, a trick question is how many ministers of health do we have in Belgium? Well, we have a total of nine ministers of health for a population of about 11 million Belgians. If we now look at which competencies these governments have, then we can see that at the federal level, uh, they are largely re responsible for secondary care, while federated entities are responsible for primary care. And this isn't even entirely true. As you see in these two clouds on the left, there is overlap. The federal level is also responsible for the health professions and other items of relevance, or of relevance to primary care. And what is integrated care all about? Well, it is about offering a continuum of care to the patient. So the question then becomes whether care in Belgium is integrated or rather fragmented as a result of this competency split. What did we do to find our answers? In 2019, we interviewed 25 key actors about integrated care implementation and these three policies in particular. We showed them uh, this timeline and discussed um, it in detail. And the interview participants included federal and Flemish policymakers, civil servants uh, from the Ministry of Health and Health Insurance, representatives of health professionals, academics and patient organizations. Following our data collection, we then conducted a stakeholder analysis in which we assessed their power and positions for each of the selected policies. And what we found is that there's tensions between policy levels and also between certain professional groups when they have competing interest in a policy change. Following the interviews, our original policy timeline transformed into this, a more comprehensive overview of policymaking processes, documents and key policy events, such as the sixth state reform in 2014, in which primary care was further decentralized. In view of the many policy initiatives we see here, um, we can uh, learn uh, that the stakeholders believe in the need for change towards more care integration is there, but uh, this timeline uh, also points at a lack of shared policy vision and policy coherence. So in conclusion, we learned that the 2014 partial decentralization of healthcare has created fragmentation of decisive powers, which undermines efforts towards integrated care. Moreover, the stakeholder analysis exposed tensions between federal and federated governments in terms of overlapping competence. Although we haven't shown you the visual mappings of stakeholders' power and positions per selected integrated care policy, it is still important to realize that a stakeholder analysis only provides a snapshot of policy beliefs and preferences. That being said, a stakeholder analysis is still a very worthwhile tool to gain insight into power dynamics and stakeholder interest, which is crucial if you're building uh, support and engagement as part of your 
strategy or research project. Are you interested in learning more about these intricate policy dynamics in Belgium or on stakeholder analysis? Please go read our publication, which you can access by scanning this QR code um, just here. And then finally, I would like to thank all of my Scooby colleagues and co-authors of this study and thank you for listening.